Hello everyone, in this video we will discuss about linked list data structure. A linked list is a linear data structure used for storing collection of data in the form of nodes. Each node in a linked list store two elements. The first element is the data and second element is the address of next node. The linked list always start with the head which denotes the starting point or the memory location of first node. Linked list end with the last node pointing to the null value. Unlike array, the elements are not stored in contiguous memory location in a linked list. But the elements are stored in a random location. Random allocation of memory location helps to add any number of elements to the linked list. Linked list does not waste memory space. In linked list, every node is divided into two parts. The first part holds the information and the second part holds the address of next node to be processed. Representation of linked list A linked list is a chain of nodes and each node has the following parts the data part and next part. In data part, we can store the information. In next part, we can store the address of next node to be processed. Next is how do linked list stored in the memory? This diagram shows a chunk of memory locations which range from 1 to 10 and the highlighted portion contain the data H E L L O. Remember that the nodes of a linked list need not to be in conjunctive memory location. In linked list, random allocation of memory location helps to add any number of elements to the linked list. The nodes of linked list like H, E, L, L, O are stored at address 5, 7, A, 10 and minus 1. And the variable head is used to hold the address of the first node. Since head is equal to 1, In this case, the initial value h is stored at address 1. The variable head is used to hold the address of first node. Since head is equal to 1, in this case, the initial data H is stored at address 1. The address of next node is stored in the corresponding next, which is 5. So we will go to the address 5 to get the next data item that is E. E is the second data piece retrieved from address 5. We find the corresponding next. To go to the next node, we receive the address SEM. From the item in the next and L as a data. This operation is repeated until we reach a place where the next item contain minus 1 or null and this denotes the end of the link list. This is a link list having five nodes. Real life example of link list data structure. The back and forward button on your browser. 
to assess previous and next URL. Right? Your music playlist when you play the next song or the last play track. The file browser on your system which allow you to go back to the previous directory. Instagram stories of your peers are added as a linked list. Each tab you make on the screen allow you to traverse through the list. The applications of linked list are like hash tables and graphs. to maintain a directory of names implementation of stack and queue next is what is the difference between array and linked list array is a collection of similar type of data element stored in a continuous memory location but the linked list is a collection of list of data values stored in a random order and the element of array are independent of each other but in linked list element present in linked list are dependent on each other array is a static data structure where memory size is fixed and cannot be changed at run time in case of array but in case of linked list dynamic size is there where the memory size is not fixed and cannot be changed during the run time in array data structure memory is allocated in the stack section but in linked list memory is allocated in the heap section memory is allocated compile time in case of array in case of linked list memory is allocated at a run time Elements in array can be assessed faster by their index like a of 0, a of 1 but but in linked list assessing element is comparatively slower than array as the search function has to traverse the list from the first element to find an element and array are comparatively easy to implement but linked list are hard to implement as they are prone to memory leak segmentation fault next is the types of linked list in data structure a linked list is a linear data structure in which elements are not stored at continuous memory location the elements in the linked list are linked using pointers in simple words we can say a linked list consists of nodes where each node contain a data field and a link to the next node in the list There are three types of linked list: singly linked list, doubly linked list, and circular linked list. First one is singly linked list. It is the simplest form of linked list in which every node contains some data and a pointer to the next node of the same data type. The node contain a pointer to the next. node means that the node store the address of next node in the sequence and a singly linked list allow the traversal of data only in one direction that's why singly linked list is known as one way list singly linked list are unidirectional that is allow the traversal of data in a single direction only then next is a doubly linked list the doubly linked list are two way list containing pointers to the previous and next node in the sequence we can traverse forward and backward in this type of linked list in doubly linked list every node is divided into three parts a pointer to the next node and a pointer to the previous node and data this would enable us to traverse the list in the backward direction as well then circular linked list 
a circular linked list is that in which the last node contain the pointer to the first node of the list while traversing a circular linked list we can begin at any node and traverse the list in any direction forward and backward until we reach the same node we started so a circular linked list has no beginning and no end a circular linked list traverses the list in form of circle so we can begin at any node and traverse the list in either the forward or backward direction until you reach the same node again and the last node of the circular linked list contain the pointer to the first node of the list there is no start or end point of this type of list next is a various operation performed on linked list traversing a linked list searching from a linked list insertion into a linked list creation from a linked list in next video we'll discuss traversing operation of a linked list